Okay, so um, question three now uh, turns to lipids. And uh, we've got a table here that we need to add ticks to. Uh, now, you may not get um, this type of question in your real exam, um, but for homework, it's a good exercise just to see if you know uh, how to link these statements with either a triglyceride, a phospholipid, or a cholesterol. Okay, but it's unlikely you'll get a, a tick box exercise in your real exam. Okay, so contains only the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, definitely for triglyceride and definitely for cholesterol. Phospholipids, of course, will contain a phosphate group, so uh, you, you wouldn't have a tick in that box. Insoluble in water, well, all of them are. They're all lipids, um, so therefore do not dissolve in water. Um, contains glycerol, now all triglycerides will, and phospholipids, but not cholesterol. That doesn't contain cholesterol, um, sorry, doesn't contain glycerol. Right, ester bonds, uh, definitely in triglyceride and phospholipids. Okay, remember that um, both triglycerides and phospholipids are made up of glycerol and fatty acids. All right, cholesterol doesn't have that structure. Right, important in membrane structure. Okay, so definitely phospholipids and cholesterol. Okay, contains fatty acids, as I said a moment ago, just those two there. Okay, so that should have been straightforward enough there. Okay, describe how to do the emulsion test for lipids and how a positive result would be uh, identified. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is uh, mix your lipid with ethanol. Okay, now what you'll find there is um, the lipid will actually dissolve in the ethanol and it should go pretty clear. All right, so that's the first thing. The second one then is that uh, to your lipid ethanol mixture, you add water to, if I just draw an arrow up there to show you add it to the lipid with ethanol. And uh, the result, uh, result equals uh, a white emulsion. Okay, so it goes uh, white, very much like uh, milk. Okay, that's all you have to do for part B. Part C then, uh, lipids form an essential part of a balanced diet. Some foods such as mycoprotein is produced by microorganisms. How might the lipid content of mycoprotein differ from food that comes from uh, animals? Okay, this uh, myc uh, mycoprotein, um, it's actually fungal protein um, and um, Commercially, it's often known as corn. Okay, so um, with with uh, with mycoprotein, um, it uh, it doesn't contain any lipid whatsoever. Um, it certainly doesn't have any saturated um, lipids, uh, but it could have uh, more uh, unsaturated lipids. So it does contain some lipids but um, what you should state is not no lipids sorry it should be less uh, lipids uh, overall okay so it's more of a protein substitute really um, the next one is that there's uh, less uh, unsaturated sorry less saturated 
uh, fat and uh, there would be more unsaturated uh, fat or lipids there. Um, so there's the uh, the three marks there. Uh, only two of those uh, you would have uh, needed. Okay, um, that yes, that is the end of uh, question three. Okay, it's not the end of uh, question three. Sorry, there is uh, one more part. Uh, which is to do with haemoglobin. So we're back to uh, proteins now. So um, it's all to do with describing the differences between globular and fibrous proteins. And you have to use haemoglobin with collagen. You have to compare those two. Um, so um, if I just dictate this, um, because uh, it, it, this is uh, all set out well in your notes. Um, with with fibrous proteins, they, they form long chains, okay? And that means they're insoluble, okay? With haemoglobin, um, they are globular, so they have, um, they don't have long chains. They form this round globular structure, which, which is soluble. Okay, um, collagen of course is strong, uh, haemoglobin isn't, okay, there's no structural um, aspect to haemoglobin. Um, in terms of their, their, their structural uh, aspects rather than their functions, uh, we've covered that really in previous videos, but basically uh, collagen has three polypeptide chains, uh, haemoglobin has four. With collagen, the polypeptide chains are identical, but in haemoglobin, there are two types. They're known as alpha and beta. Okay. Uh, haemoglobin has a prosthetic group, which is known as heme, which is iron. Uh, co uh, collagen doesn't. Okay, uh, collagen is forms part of ligaments and tendons. It provides strength to them. Hemoglobin just transports uh, oxygen. Um, so, quite a lot that uh, you could have put in there. It is uh, all put all in the notes. All right. So I've given you a few comparative statements there, uh, which you would have covered. Uh, the eight marks uh, for this question. Any issues on this question, of course, you can uh, uh, come and see me about it. So that is now the end of question three.